Have you ever wondered why ChatGPT gained over a million users in just five days? ChatGPT. 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 Something that took Facebook 10 months, Spotify five months, and Instagram almost three months. But within three months after ChatGPT was released, Google responded back with their lookalike AI bot called Google Bard. And do you think Google Bard would actually be the perfect answer to ChatGPT rivalry? Okay, the first question I ever asked ChatGPT was, is ChatGPT better than Google? See, here was the response I got from ChatGPT. It is not appropriate to compare ChatGPT to Google as they serve different purposes. ChatGPT is a natural language processing tool that is designed to generate human-like responses in a chatbot or messaging platform. It is trained on large amounts of data and can generate responses that are similar to how a human might respond in a conversation. Google, on the other hand, is a search engine that allows users to search for information online. It is not specifically designed for generating responses in a chatbot or messaging platform. Therefore, it's not accurate to compare the two as they serve different purposes and should be evaluated based on their specific functions. But the reality is in spite of this answer, ChatGPT still works like a search engine. Ever since it was launched on November 30th, 2022, it has been a threat to some people, like a programmer who thought the chatbot could write codes would take away his job. And while many people also think this is a big threat to Google's business. By the end of this video, you will understand whether ChatGPT is a threat to Google's decades of internet search business and whether the new Google Bard is actually an answer to ChatGPT rivalry. In the first week after its release, ChatGPT became a media hit, with screenshots of hastily written poems, films, and essay responses being shared all over Twitter by excited techno radi. While the technology behind GPT-3 has been there for a while, there was the first time OpenAI made it publicly available, inspiring a competition to see who could come up with the most creative instructions. Aside from flashy demonstrations, ChatGPT is already putting to use in real-world scenarios, such as by programmers who are utilizing it to write code and catch bugs. However, the system's primary benefit is by providing better responses to the queries we currently submit to Google. Therefore, ChatGPT could be a financial disaster to the world's most powerful search engine. As of February 6, 2023, Google showcased the much-awaited AI chatbot Google Bard, which was developed in comparison to ChatGPT. The goal of this artificially intelligent chatbot is to provide automated help and human-like interaction for businesses, much like the way Bing is currently doing with ChatGPT and perhaps to supplement Google's own search tools. Using LAMDA language model for dialogue applications technology, it has been in the works for a while. Other AI generative tools, such as ChatGPT's GPT-3 language model, also uses the transformer neural network architecture developed by Google. In the case of an ordinary Google search engine, it is able to provide relevant search results because it crawls the web and indexes information from billions of pages. A list of potential sites for further exploration is then spat out. If you're tired of searching the web for answers, ChatGPT has something more enticing to offer, a single result based on its own search and synthesis of that material, as long as the content was online before late 2021. ChatGPT has been trained on millions of websites to learn not only how to hold a human-like conversation, but the content itself. For practical reference, I went through my Google search history and entered the same seven of my own Google inquiries into ChatGPT, categorizing the results. So that I wouldn't forget, I repeated my Google searches. After comparing the results of ChatGPT with Google, I found out in five out of seven cases, ChatGPT provided a more helpful answer. This demonstrates the most serious long-term competition that ChatGPT poses to Google. It provides a direct answer that eliminates the need to look through other resources. That's a frictionless experience, the golden goal of the IT industry in an era when people who shop online prioritize convenience above all else.
Google does offer its own kind of abbreviated responses to some inquiries. However, these responses are often brief compilations of the web pages with the top search engine rankings. Additionally, it features a superior proprietary language model named LAMDA that one of the company's engineers mistakenly believed the system to be human. Chatbots like Google Bard and ChatGPT are built with natural language models and machine learning, although they offer slightly different experiences. Google Bard may be able to incorporate more recent data in its responses than ChatGPT, which is currently based solely on data collected up to 2021, while ChatGPT's primary use case is in answering conversational questions and providing responses, it is now also being integrated into Bing search results to facilitate answering conversational queries. In a similar sense, yet limited to improving Google, Google Bard will be put to use. The two chatbots use slightly different language models, whilst Google Bard uses LAMDA, ChatGPT is based on GPT, Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. As far as I'm aware, Google Bard does not yet have a plagiarism checker like the one found in ChatGPT. Before the announcement of Google Bard, people were asking why Google did not produce its own unique responses to inquiries like ChatGPT. But it looks like Google does listen to people's chants. Here we are, there is Google Bard. Well, anything that makes it difficult for users to read search results will harm Google's transactional business model, which depends on persuading users to click on advertisements. According to data gathered by Bloomberg, 81% of Google's 257.6 billion income in 2021 came from ads. A large portion of it came from Google's pay-per-click adverts. According to Sridhar Ramaswamy, who oversees the entire Google's ads and marketing business between 2013 and 2018, generative search from systems like ChatGPT will in a massive way disrupt Google's standard search business which was designed with the purpose of let you get to click on a link. Having a quick no reference response is just a better experience with ChatGPT. All other material on the page is essentially filler. The purpose of Google search is to persuade you to click on links, ideally advertisements. Of course, that's what makes Google worth billions of dollars. To ChatGPT, it withholds the information sources from the public. In fact, there's a strong probability that even its designers are unaware of how it develops the solutions it offers. That reveals one of its fundamental flaws. Sometimes its solutions are just flat out incorrect. As a result, many institutions and colleges will categorically refuse the uses of ChatGPT. And as a result, students who had believed they could manipulate the chatbot would likely fail. Google relevancy will continue to exist for many years to come because if you want to be the best, you will likely have to beat the best. The thousands of responses that programmers were publishing through ChatGPT were frequently inaccurate, according to Stack Overflow, a question and answer website for programmers, which has once blocked its users from providing advice from the ChatGPT software. Similarly, Google Bard also gave an incorrect answer to a query about the findings of the James Webb Space Telescope. It boasted that it had captured the first image of an extrasolar planet, but the findings that had been accomplished years before. The fact that Google Bard showed this false information seriously prompted harsh criticism, with some users comparing Google Bard shortcomings to that of ChatGPT. If OpenAI trains its system on more up-to-date data from the web, ChatGPT may improve in accuracy. For this reason, OpenAI is developing a system called WebGPT to provide better results for search queries by incorporating proper citations. Possibly, ChatGPT and WebGPT combined will be a formidable competitor to Google and Google Bard. When compared to OpenAI's previous methods, ChatGPT is already providing more precise results. OpenAI isn't making any public predictions about its future uses, but if its new chatbot starts recommending other websites, especially e-commerce sites, that might be disastrous for Google's revenue, but only time will tell. Although Google Bard is still limited to beta testers as the time of making the video, looking at it, Google still has huge potential since they have access to a lot of data to develop their chatbot performance. Until then, Google still has the most reliable information backed up with sources. Thank you for listening. If you enjoy the video, kindly leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. It is free and you can always change your mind later. Until the next one, peace out.